we all agree that um, kids watching TV is very bad. Like it leads to them underdeveloping and they, it leads to mostly speech delay. This is something that I came to know earlier, later on I mean. Like my daughter really did struggle. When she was born she was isolated, she was alone where we were staying, she was alone. So she was so separated. By the time she's growing up she wants to mingle. It, it was really a struggle because she didn't know how to play with friends, she didn't know how to interact. She also had a very hard time communicating, like it was very tough on her because we allowed the television to take care of her, like when I'm doing something, it's the television, when I want to do something, we just put a cartoon and she she fell in love with Kokomelo and every now and then we just let her watch but we didn't know the repercussion but now that we know that you know we've changed but that's not the reason why i'm doing this video as you all well know my daughter has been homeschooling part of it has uh visually visual aid has been really has has played a part in all this it has simplified some things especially some things that she can only learn visually and real reason why i'm doing this video i'm going to share with you some of the animation that really played a very big role in our homeschooling because they really helped her understand and they are very educated trust you me they are if you go through their channel they are educated they don't have anything else they just inform and educate that's their purpose yeah so stick around with me also if there are others that have not come across just be please do share with me one omoberi omoberi is an a uh, nigerian animation if i'm not wrong and it is the first animation that i came across and i really loved it my daughter loved it and enjoyed because one it is very educative talks about things that are happening talks about matters africa talks about what takes like if you just scroll down their page it's just educative informative if i mean it helps me so much on storytelling why my daughter really loves like another other other cartoons that i won't mention but yeah homo Berry was my best ever cartoon then i came across grace's corners oh my god even my 11 months old vibes to grace's corner the dances everything he wants to try them all and i so love it because one it is educated too it's talking about the things that are really heavy on me to handle with her but then when she sees them she's like i want to try and that's very good that's very educated especially with braces corners i really love the part where they're discussing about vegetables and greens and all my daughter it's okay. time to eat let me just accept we spoiled my do our daughter's gut and we've been doing a very 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 hard job to just uh, repair it to just feed the gut with the good uh, bacteria and it's been working but now the challenge comes in when it comes to vegetables she really doesn't love them you have to find a way for her to eat so when i saw grace's corner that song about vegetables i vibed to it and when she saw it she was like she started understanding and right now she's really trying not giving all the credit to grace's corner saying that it's what made her eat but at least whatever i was trying to teach her got to stick with her she she understood and she knows how to eat vegetables to stay healthy and strong so grace is gonna have it then the third best animation of all times is kunda and friends oh my god you don't want to miss kunda and friends same as grace is gonna my son vibes to it my daughter vibes to it now my favorite song on kunda and friends is this song about continents of africa even if uh, even as a, an old adult like you can vibe to it you can understand it's talking about continents it's talking about how to take care of your body it's talking about potty how to take care of yourself when you are doing the potty it's talking about showering it's like it's a very good um i'd say african animation like it 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 just does the thing it informs and it educates period kunda and friends is one of my best best animation and i would highly recommend it to you as a parent yeah um this is a trick 
if you feel it's a lot for your kid uh set up a time timer or time like say a day my daughter or my son will be watching the television for one hour or two hours or three hours or 15 minutes then in a day make sure they watch something that you've prepared for them but make sure it's educative and it's it's informative that's the word yeah so kunda in friends has it and then there is another animation that i came across also on or it's a cartoon or exploration or something it's called blippy no blippy is this guy who goes around talks to goes around to so many places sometimes he's just advertising the place but most of the time he's educating especially the kids so there's this one uh, day that i came across blippy he was talking about dinos and all trust me till date my daughter knows all the dinosaurs the types the rhinoceros the essentially giant what because we have uh, all the animals in place of course homeschooling so they had to get all those materials she can name them she knows them she knows the difference like yeah so blippy but with blippy also be choosy like make uh, be the one choosing them for your kid because blippy educates one but sometimes he just entertains sometimes he just yeah, advertise and all that so blippy is also a good one especially for all the kids yeah not the younger ones but if your younger one can understand and you feel they are good to go why not how can i fail to mention this i know you all know this tinga tinga tears oh my god this is a animation i used to watch while back in primary school my primary school and then when i got to secondary i still watched it so imagine my daughter is watching it right now she is vibing to it even my son and she loves it and i'm like oh my god these guys did a very good job with this animation like it is a storytelling my daughter really enjoys storytelling especially the bedtime stories oh my god you can repeat them over and over again so but now i'm trying to look for bedtime stories you guys plug me for good stories because we <sighs> i don't know what i'm going to do she enjoys stories and tinga tinga tells really does the thing it tells stories even you as an adult trust you're not going to enjoy it just try um tinga tinga tells and see you'll discover a lot of things you'll really discover a lot of things with the um, with the station and then another one that is not educating but rather just entertaining those changes watching is busy bee uh paper pig and this and i also think princesses things though i don't know if it's just me because a lot of kids actually enjoy paper pig however if you have watched it you'll notice uh mama pig always uh body shames father pig because he has uh he's he's so fat and he say she says it over and over again so because of those reasons i okay well, again she is not understand but as a grown-up uh you want there's so so many things that you notice in an animation animation before your kid watches so yeah i think those are the animations that i'll recommend to you as a parent especially on this holiday season but make sure you limit it make sure you are aware of what your kid is watching and yeah don't don't overdo it just have fun over the holidays and so limit don't give them all that space so yeah i hope you're going to share yours because i said i'm not i'm sure i've not explored all youtube is way big like sometimes you just don't know but anyway just share yours down below and then i'll see you on the next one bye